Welcome back to the KOA and Morning News. Joining us in studio today is Kirk Sharp, the executive director of the Gordon Parks Museum in Fort Scott. So, Kirk, welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. Thank you. And you've got um, a very special event coming up. Martin Luther King Jr. Day is coming up, and you're celebrating the life of Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Uh, with a special event at the Gordon Parks Museum. So tell yes. us a little bit about that. Well, it's going to be more than just one event. Uh, we're going to have about three-day events. We're going to wow. kick it off uh, this Thursday on January 12th with the Chamber Coffee at the museum for our kickoff celebration. Then at 10 o'clock later that day, we're going to have a film showing titled Martin. It's a, a film written and directed by Gordon Parks, Fort Scott native. Uh, can't for Scott, uh, Kansas native Gordon Parks and then on that Friday we're going to start off with our film showings the eyes of the prize American civil rights series at nine o'clock and then we'll have a, a, another showing at 1 30 then another showing at 3 30 prior to those film showings in the afternoon we're going to have a lunch and learn event uh, celebrating uh, Martin Luther King's birthday with Alex Kimball Williams. She's a multicultural artist, uh, researcher, and educator. She's going to provide uh, some songs for civil rights music er in the civil rights area. And then also she's going to do a presentation on Martin Luther King's uh, speeches and how art influences his speeches during those times. And then on the actual holiday, we got a lot more events going on that day too as well. We're going to have a day of service. Um, we're going to have a uh, canned and non-perishable food items drive and we'll take those collections from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then we'll also continue with our civil rights series with Eyes on the Prize at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock. And then we'll have a lunch and learn event titled Good Trouble uh, or Disturbing the Peace, the Importance of Humanities in the Stressing Times. Uh, professor John Edgar Tidwell is a professor emeritus of English at the University of Kansas. So this discussion will go over four different things such as the issues of the relevance of Abraham Lincoln as em emancipation proclamation and Martin Luther King's letter that out of the Birmingham jail for framing today's debates about race and racism. And for both of those lunch and learns, it's going to be a lunch and learn on Friday. It will have a uh, soup, uh, two types of soup. We'll have birthday cake. We'll also have uh, some dessert. It's all free to the community and in the, the lunch and learn on Monday for the John Edgar Tedwell presentation, Good Trouble will also have free barbecue. And it's sponsored by Dunk's Barbecue uh, with Lewis Dunkson in Fort Scott. And also the Great West Dining Service is gonna help sponsor both those lunch and learns too as well. And we, and also we like to give a great shout out to Manny's Candace for providing a program series for the Good Trouble. And how important is it for y'all to be able to, to host these events and host this celebration of Dr. King's legacy? It's very important. It's a way for us to help celebrate and honor his life and his work. Uh, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King was the champion of uh, social justice. He, he fought for, to have systematic change for uh, racism, to fight against racism, discrimination. And so we want to help keep his legacy alive. And the day of service is a day on. So we, uh, Martin Luther King Day should not be just a day off, it's a day on. And one of the things that we want to do is provide that day of service for people to come out. All right, Kirk, thank you so much for coming in this morning. And we've got all this information on our website at koamnewsnow.com. We'll be right back after this.